Oh, you're about to hear a classic Tom Pemberton statement. First time ever. I wouldn't say I was thrilled. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, hold your own, don't hit anything. There we go. Hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell because you get notifications. This guy's videos, this guy with the face. Every Tuesday, Friday, and on occasion, we do a Sunday video. Today is a big day. How big this big? Um, that is because the drone's up, so it is a big day. We've got to the last little bits of our grass, of our first cut silage. It is the start of April. It lasted a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> so we're going to take it off and it's going to start. And then we're going to do something really serious and open that bad boy. Right, let's take our top off. I'm gonna be finished early today and I'm um, kind of half three nearly milking time, but I'm doing Luke's idea so I don't break my legs, which is go up this clamp to get onto that one. It just makes sense. It's so clever. Oh, Dad's arrowing over there. The man to possess in next door's deer. Deer, a female deer. No, I read it to the sun. Oh, da 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 dee. Right, let's get it done. Right, this is not going to be pretty. It's going to be quick. Ha, that's what she said. That's too many that what she said in one video. But it works. <laughs> I'll let you fill in the blank. Hit my shit and I'm a face. Really? Oh, to the point where I might be sick. <sighs> I haven't got the time to be ill, so I'm gonna. I was gonna try and chuck this sheet on the other one. I'm not gonna do that. Come on, Tom. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. <sighs> right, new plan. I'm just gonna chuck them off. Oh, my shit hurts so much. Should we have a look? Should we have a look at the damage? Oh, look at that. Lead my own blood. Ugh. Now you look at it and you go, huh? It's not that bad. Stop being such a wet lead, Tom. Stop that. What is interesting though, whilst we're up here, is I'm glad I chucked it off. This is something to be worried about, which I wasn't worried about. I'm very thankfully I'm here. And that's why I'm grabbing onto that pole. Look at that gap. So that gap is all the way down the silage. And I'm surprised that this hasn't actually collapsed forward. So that's why I'm grabbing onto there. I'm gonna get off here. I'm not gonna jump down there. I'm gonna jump down the safe way of the silage sheet. I'm gonna leave them gravel bags at the back there because I've had enough. <laughs> and um, when we're sheeting up next time, they're ready to go. Just tidy those sheets up at the bottom and then I'm happy. The top's off. I'll tidy it later when I'm not in too much of a rush. Don't rush. How much does the machine hurt? A lot. It's just where my welly is as well. And it's like, I don't know, I didn't play football a lot. So I can imagine what's get, like getting kicked in the shins. Or it's a scrape on the shins, not a kick. Anyway, I get a job done. I got a stag doing an hour and a half. Oh, an hour, I think. God, I got a lot to do. And I'll see you next week when we take that top off. I'll lift it up anyway. See you next week. Bye. He's got a around. Got a smile there. So we're back. It is Monday. I went to the stag do. I was late, as all you all expected. And um, the grass has been completely and utterly smacked back. See that? That's what I was chatting about. 
it's coming off the wall. Got about half a clamp, half a, a bit left. We haven't got a lot anyway. So what we're gonna do, the plan, is open this clamp up so then we can mix the grass together. So, bit of rubbish. Malone, removed for use. I think it was from that, took that under. So we can mix it so the cows can get used to it over the next probably week, probably take us about a week to do it all. That's like a man possessed. Try and stop him. So we can mix this stuff into the new stuff, but super exciting. And the time is now. It's happening. This is very exciting. If you're a loser like me. Isn't that so much more easier than a lot of tires? That does like most of the clamp. It's great. We're definitely gonna have to move these again because my idea is to clear this whole area up. But for now. Over the road, that clamp's nearly done as well. So in the last six months, we've been chewing two clamps at a time. It's made life a lot easier over the road. But now what we're gonna do is because those two are nearly finished, we're gonna be going through this one twice as fast. It is getting to turnout season, which is just amazing. But we still have a lot of cows to feed and we're gonna be in for the next two weeks. So this is gonna be huge. This is the first time ever, ever, we've taken the grass off this clamp. It's gonna be cool, hopefully it worked. If not, you can all laugh at me. Fingers crossed you won't. I'll load you up, yeah? You're about to hear a classic Tom Femmes statement is that I'm gonna try and keep this sheet, but the front had a little bit of a mess when we were doing the shed and stuff like that. It's got hardcore on it all the time, so I'm gonna cut it, fold it back that way, and then gonna try and keep it going up. I think there's a lot of good green sheet going up here. Like this green one here. Good sheet, very slippery. Tires are off. I think we're gonna get through this pretty fast. Don't know about you, but I think we will. I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna cut the front bit to start with, and then we're gonna start rolling. Rolling in the deep end. Rolling. Is that purple rain? Purple rain. What's the song? Rolling. Rolling. I don't know, it's on my wife love. Yeah, you're right there. Sorry. Right. We're about to see. I don't like the front. Yeah, where I am. Couldn't say I was thrilled. Holy moly. Like that looks pretty poor, doesn't it? Look at the front of that. Look at that. But that, like smells amazing. Amazing. if anyone saw that. Be a Tom video about things going wrong. How many things have gone wrong? By the way, my shin really hurts, so I'm wearing these different wellies. Normally, I wear chamois, which are shamus and the most comfiest wellies in the world. These ones 
are just a bit shorter and they're on that scab machine so bad what i've done i put 250 kilos of meal in we've got 600 kilos of selco in and what we do is put two bucket loads in because it should have used a sheer grab but it's all kind of messed up anyway um two bucket loads of the older grass and then what we do is fill up the rest of the newer stuff to about four or five just depending what we have all together i might actually do one more bucket load just to get them used to the stuff they normally have so it's like three bucket loads and then a two grabs of the, the new clamp just so we can wean them onto the new clamp slowly like you wouldn't want to just change the diet completely cows don't like that they like consistency so you've got to change anything they do change nice and slowly the best you can and if it fits sometimes we change things because it needs to be done if that makes sense so i'll put another bucket load of this in rightfully or wrongfully Getting robbed in broad daylight. Next, I'll be right there beside you. Little thing about running an old cheer grab. We always get grass stuck in there. I don't know if it happens to the new ones, but if you leave it too long, it blows the bleed seal or ram or the strength in a bit. It's a bit of a nightmare, so I've just got a flathead screwdriver which every two days or something I just clear it free then it doesn't blow out Taking it out of the front, missed a little bit. That's the only problem with not having concrete here. And that is my plan. I'll, I'll give you a sneak preview, you'll see it. Is I'm gonna get everything out of here. I want my clamp to be empty. Take everything out, concrete it over, if I can, before we melt chop again. And uh, then put everything back neatly and tidily. But I'm looking for somewhere to put the tires. I wanna get rid of those. And um, those planks of wood, chop off the ends, tidy them up, stack them right. Anything we don't need, pallets. Uh, you'll see we've got a new scrap metal bin. I want to tidy the whole place up. I'm going to sell that crush. I'm going to sell that front um, grab. There's a couple of buckets there. I might not sell that bucket. It's quite useful. But there's bits I just want to tidy up. We're going to be on it. Spring's going to be here. I'm going to be back on it. We're not putting a brand new shed up this year. So I've got to do something else. Put four, three in. Normally, I'll get out of the wind. Um, be putting about four, six in. But this is a lot drier. So I've not put as much in. We'll see how it feeds. I can always load up again in the morning. Someone mentioned that the Keenan doesn't have the tumbling effect that it should do, and I totally agree. It's because even the way I fill it now, I still need to top it up sometimes in the morning, sometimes I can just get away with it. Like this morning, I didn't have to top up anything. The tumbling effect of the Keenan is what mixes it. You'll see the knives though, you'll see those lines of the knives. I'll turn this off, it's been mixed enough. They're kind of mixing it, but not. Turn her off. She's getting a bit warm. Uh, they're mixing it a little bit, but not. So we're at 4.3, where normally we go for about 4.6. So 300 kilos less, but there'll be a higher dry matter in this. So we'll see how it feeds. Like I say, I put two ton of the older stuff in. That's rubbish. This is someone who has ran out of silage one year, even with a full clamp, every little bit. Every little bit. Tom, you should put side sheets on your clamp. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You know. Coca Cola. Poopa scooper. Anyone knows to know. Right. I'll go get my dad. See what he thinks of it. It's currently rolling and it's now raining. Hopefully, I haven't broken my drone. Actually, it doesn't feel as dry as it did in the clamp. Can't be too bad. They're all having a good scran on it, eh? So we've finished off, let's get to the end of the day. We've only opened a little bit. We'll get better as we get in. You can see there's a lot of, a lot of waste at the front. It's a weird one here because it's like 
waist. Like, look at that. He's, he's, he's look at it. Yeah, but it's like six inches. Yeah. Six inches of waist. Hopefully, when we get further down, it'll be less. Uh, because look at that. That's a bit. But it was sheeted up straight away. Yeah, the sheet was on straight away. And um, it might get better if we get into it, which will be interesting to find out. But if you look here, look here. When you've had a nice clean face at it, yeah. you're all right. You know. Yeah. It's probably this way. It's not quite as solid as we'd like. <laughs> It's just not been rolled as well. No, rolled as well. We'll finish off. We did it when you went. Yeah, did you have the roller in? Yeah. I wasn't here, was I? No, you weren't here. Honeymoon? No. Part time, Tom. It smells a bit warm on top. Yeah. But if you get underneath. <laughs> Why are we clutching at straws? It's, well, it smells good. <sighs> yeah. It smells should... better underneath. Well, it's this first bit. I think it's just the face of it. Yeah. Which is a little bit annoying for our very first time that we've ever eaten this grass. From here and over the road. And right, first grab, boom, yeah. So because it's so on. dry as well, the other thing, our oh, shear grab's not very good at grabbing it yeah. when it's so dry. Yeah. It's going to be 50% dry matter. Very um, dry, too yeah. dry, I would say. Too dry, a bit too dry. But let's get into it, mix it with that for the next, for the next four or five days, yeah. bake them into it, and we'll get it analysed. We'll get a nice shave, we'll get it analysed, and we'll see what we've Have you seen the cows go? Cows are loving it. Cows are loving it. We oh. can talk all we want about X, Y, and Z, but hey, if the cows are eating it, this is, this is the proof of the pudding, isn't it? Look at them. There's Does not it, everything else doesn't matter. No, no, nothing matters. If nothing. they're happy, we're happy. Eh? And not only have you had they're full, they're full of food. When they get onto some grass, they'll have a real little bit of boost, lots of protein in the grass and sugars and energy. But if it's very wet, it'll just fly through them. This will bind it all together. Look at those. Uh, it's like we purposely did it. We're not short sure of forage. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not, which is a good place to be in. And the cows are absolutely Especially loving it, which is the main thing. Them. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will see you in the next one. Books coming out, merch coming out, loads of stuff being busy, and look at these cows. Not a lot sat down, loads of eating. Hope you have a fantastic day. See you in a bit. Bye.